This is how you should or could ship out any sports card from 25 cents all the way up to a thousand. Uh, whatever your price point is, you're gonna need some cardboard, um, team bags, some tape, some painter's tape, blue. Um, blue does the trick really nicely. Um, the ones that aren't super sticky. And then also as well, a piece of paper. So this one is gonna be our plain white envelope example. So I just put it into a team bag. Now what the team bag does is it encloses the card so it's not freely able to leave um, the top loader that it's in and hence always is protected even if somehow it were to slide up the top loader. But it also, what it does is it kind of barely in, um, encloses it a little more. So like you saw, I did that to try to tap it out a little bit, but it hasn't moved at all. And that's in part uh, because of the little close it does with the uh, team bag. But so with something like this, a card that I've sold for, you know, $20 or less and with eBay standard envelope, um, this will go out in a plain white envelope. So what I do is I get one of these really long pieces of paper, like, you know, talking that long. It's a legal size piece of paper. I have like a picture right here of what you should look for. But this way I can get two uses out of it. So I fold it in half. And then I cut a piece of paper um, in half. I guess technically you're gonna probably need scissors too. I use these titanium ones. I got them in a three pack at Costco during the holiday season. I'm not sure if they have them still. The uh, card one's gonna be for our $20 one. But so after that, I fold this guy into some paper like this so he's folded up in the paper and I fold the edges in and then I get myself a envelope get myself an envelope and slide that guy in there and then I can stick the envelope um, and then after that I will put the label and what I do with the label is I put a, the label so it's folding it down and having a, a, another form of security um, to deter entrance into the envelope. And this would be good to go if you make sure that it's the proper weight and that it's not um, over thick. So it has to be... Uh, a quarter inch thickness. It cannot be more than a quarter inch thickness and it has to be uniform, which is one of the reasons why I use the uh, paper because it can grab onto something more than it just being the envelope. And then for the $20 and up guy, guys, I always do this. So I get cardboard. Um, you can take any card. Um, top loader is really the same size, especially if you use the same ones, so it helps out. I don't typically use the same card just because this is a nicer card in comparison to something like this I'm in quickly, but usually it doesn't matter anyway. And so you get two little cutouts, and then I just use something like this, and then... So now I just cut on the lines. You'll see what these two are for in a second here. So then I cut it out my cardboard. And then start to get it packaged up for these, the buyer. So I cut it out. And then make sure to 
get the uh, proper side here. So these are uniform length, pretty much. Give or take, doesn't need to be exact. Um, and then these ones. And you'll, you'll like how you take care of these cards, especially when someone's paying that much. Oh, and also, what I forgot to say is you're gonna need extra top loaders. So, what I like to do is these old top loaders that, you know, the sticker might be um, difficult to remove and, you know, it leaves residue behind. And, you know, top, top loaders that aren't able to be reused, um, you can reuse them here. So, I sandwich the card in between two top loaders and grab a team bag and then close the team bag. Um, there we go. So now it is secure in the team bag with two top loaders, one on each side, surrounding it. And then, so you grab your piece of cardboard. Typically you want to make sure it's the uh, non color side. You can do it however you like, but I just think it's more professional with the the plain side being shown. And you get, you know, some tape. And you don't even need to um, tape it twice. You can just use one piece of tape. Um, typically, I use two at least. Um, you know, but so you're going to use those extra pieces on the outside here. Uh, um, just as a additional like shock absorbent is how I look at it as a shock absorbent and then you just grab your tape and then get that guy securely taped down and um, that thing is not going anywhere but I would do this too I think um, definitely at least do this where you do that it just means that it's gonna actually stay in where, in that, um, in that form you just created. Let me grab a bubble in there real quick. You are also gonna need bubble. Um, but so you grab this guy, put it into your thing, into your bubble in there. You can peel this off. And then close it down, and this thing, you are able literally to probably play football with this thing, and that card is still going to be just fine. Uh, I've had comments just like all these ones that you're seeing right now on my eBay page about my shipping, and people love it. Um, so I also would recommend to tape the, uh, or with the thermal label. Um, that will be a sticky label you to um, put the, the top of it here and then have it, you know, the rest of it down here as far as you need it to go. Um, don't have an example, but so tape it down, like put the label on so that it's holding this down as an extra added security measure so that your buyer is more knowing that you took the time and you know thought through all of your your shipping measures but so that's how you ship out anything from 25 cents to a thousand dollars and have the buyer be happy with it I appreciate you guys very much and i hope that this helped you guys make sure you subscribe and comment down below any questions if you have any Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.